Pagalogi Pamana, I am Teacher Faith, your companion for today for our further learning from the Bible on how to be a good children. I know you are all excited for our study today, and because of that, I implore you to prepare all the materials we will use for our activity, such as pencil, paper, and coloring materials. But before we start, let's start with our prayer. In our prayer, let's stand, close our eyes, and bow our head. Abba, our Father, our King, You who are Almighty, Lord, thank You for this day as we once again listen to the teachings from the Bible. We ask for Your guidance in our study, and may we understand it with Your help. All of this we ask and thank You. In Your name, Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Before we start our study, we'll have a little activity. Did you answer it all? Wow! Excellent, please. You are all so good, as all your answers are correct. So let's always remember to pray God in everything we do and lay on God's help in our own action. So because of this, to fully understand the essence of this idea, let's listen to our study so we can learn more from the Bible. Now, here's a question for you children. Why is it important for us to be orderly and clean? According to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the livestock and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And even in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1, Guard your steps when you go to the house of God, to draw near, to listen is better than to offer the sacrifice of fools, for they do not know that they are doing evil. It is also mentioned in Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 14. And Jesus entered the temple of God and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. According to the story, God wants us to be orderly and clean in all aspects of our lives, whether at home, in school, or in the church. We should be orderly and clean because it shows that we are the children and servants of God who live in cleanliness, especially in the cleanliness of our hearts. This means that we should exhibit good behavior as it, it is the nature of God that He wants us to embody. Why? It is because God is holy and his nature is to be orderly and clean. There you go, kids. Our lessons are truly meaningful. So now, let's revisit the important lesson of the story. 
What lessons should we take away from this? Number one, be a pamana that is responsible and clean towards the environment. In our story, we've learned the importance of practicing good habits. Being good pamana by living a life of order and cleanliness. It is important to instill these practices from a young age so that they become a lasting pamana as we grow older. Moreover, let's share these values with our fellow young pamana, especially our friends. Number two, follow orderliness and environmental law in our surroundings. Nature and the environment are gifts from God that we shouldn't destroy. Let's refrain from littering indiscriminately and dispose our waste in proper places. We can also participate in tree planting activities. So children, let's make it a habit to be orderly and clean in our surroundings. There you have it. The lessons we should learn. Are you ready for our activity? Yes! Let's get started. On a clean sheet of paper, draw a large item that is used for cleaning. For example, a broom, vacuum cleaner, dustpan, or mop. If possible, color them as well. Are you finished, kids? Great job! Now, here is your memory verse for this week. Now, here is your memory verse for this week. Let no man despise the youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. We're done with our study, so now let's pray again. Abba, our Father, our King, thank you very much for helping us complete this task once again. Thank you for your help and guidance, and please help us become avid readers of the Bible. May we not forget the lessons we've heard, and please assist us in applying these teachings we learn in our everyday life. Continue to protect and guide us. This is our prayer. In the name of God, Christ Jesus, our only Savior. Amen. Thank you kids for listening. Until next time, goodbye and peace pa! Is everything He taught me how to praise Him He taught me how to sing a song He taught me how to love Him He made me a little servant of the Lord My Lord is amazing My God, my Gives me anything, teaches everything. He taught me how to praise Him. He taught me how to sing a song. He taught me how to love Him. He made me a little servant of the Lord. He made me a little servant of the Lord. Lord